Janice Dean, live from the Fox Extreme Weather Center. She likes storm chasers like me because we're easy to coach. Janice? Harris, we've, you know, we've covered a lot of storms together. We and have. this one is going to be for the record books. This is going to devastate southwest Florida. Uh, and you were talking about categories four and five, and we're on the cusp of a five. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, the damage is going to be the storm surge into some of these vulnerable coastlines, upwards of 18 feet. And it's going to come during high tide, so that's going to add an additional one to two feet. And then you've got the waves on top of that. Uh, you know, prayers are needed in southwest Florida uh, because we are, landfall is imminent in the next couple of hours, and the eye wall is now making landfall across portions of southwest Florida. So we're going to feel those hurricane force winds, uh, certainly getting gusts in Venice of over 60 miles per hour. And this is going to be a long duration event. You mentioned the slowing down, and that's right. going to be dangerous, obviously, because you're going to have all of this water. This is like a bulldozer of water right now uh, from a very strong hurricane uh, that is three times the size of Charlie. You know, when we look at the history of hurricanes that have hit this area, Charlie came ashore 2004. Uh, it was a Category 4. but. This is three times the size of Charlie, and the folks that live in Fort Myers and Punta Gorda, they remember Charlie, and this one is going to be even worse than that, Harris. Uh, so, you know, we've covered a lot of hurricanes together. This is probably going to be the one of the worst that I have ever covered in my career, uh, and we are expecting a landfall probably around 3 or 4 p.m., slows down 24 hours across the state of Florida, crawling Orlando under a hurricane warning. You mentioned the tornado threat. Uh, right. We can see dozens of tornadoes out of uh, land falling hurricanes, and we've seen tornado warnings not only today, but yesterday, and that's going to be ongoing. The peak storm surge, this is what kills most people in the path of a hurricane, uh, and this warning is 12 to 18 feet vulnerable coastline here that will overtop homes that will move well inland uh, and that's the biggest concern uh, looking at you know some of the the rivers that are going to crest here at historic levels uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours so a 13 foot storm surge here and again if that's falling on high tide it's going to be even further than that. It's going to be upwards of, in some cases, maybe close to 20 foot storm surge because of the high tide. And as I mentioned, the tropical related deaths surge is that mm. is the highest. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and this is what is going to inundate, uh, you know, Fort Myers up to Sarasota, Florida in the next couple of hours. Real quickly, just a couple of, uh, of re-asks on you. A storm surge warning in effect now. And I made a point to tell the audience that while Tampa is no longer on that short list of direct hit cities, because in the beginning it was, and now it has shifted, it is second on the list for, and this is not alphabetical, second on the list for storm surge damage. Talk to me about the distance, if you will, from where the storm is projected to, to hit directly. And you say that those, those hurricane winds are already moving on shore right now. So they're getting a flavor of what this thing, how bitter this will be. How far away is that from cities like Tampa and Orlando? We mentioned Orlando for possible twisters. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, uh, the whole state of Florida is in a state of emergency. Uh, and we think the core of the strongest winds are going to come ashore around the Fort Myers area. And mm -hmm. this is just south of Tampa Bay. You know, earlier this week, we thought Tampa was going to take the brunt of the storm. They're still going to see storm surge totals upwards of six feet. Uh, but the worst of the damage is going to be south of Tampa. And Fort Myers is also one of the most vulnerable coastlines. Naples as well, Sarasota. Uh, this is going to be is something that they've never seen in their lifetime in this region. Uh, so rain totals, yes, certainly we could see upwards over a foot of rainfall, but it's the storm surge, 12 to 18 feet. And again, coming at high tide and the waves on top of that, Harris, mm -hmm. um, if you know the region, it's low lying beach areas yep. and the water is going to come on top of homes. That's why you can hide from the winds. You have to run from the water. And, and as you mentioned, the time has run out, and that's why I'm so scared, and the prayers need to be said for this portion of Southwest Florida. A couple of things. A correction for me, it is Flagler, not Flagler, and I struggled with that. I apologize to Floridians. Uh, 270,000 people in Florida now without electrical power. So even as the winds, the outer bands, Janice, are moving in from Hurricane Ian, 
uh, it is coming in with a fury. Last quick question. You said not much difference between a Cat 4 and a Cat 5. Does it matter in terms of how long it takes the intensity of those winds to die down? Well, we are going to see the storm weaken uh, in the next 12 to 24 hours, but it's still going to be intact uh, because mm -hmm. we have a hurricane warning in Orlando. We're still expecting hurricane force winds inland, well inland and to the, the coast, uh, the Atlantic side of Florida, even up towards uh, the, the Georgia area. So we still have hurricane watches, advisories in those areas. We are expecting the storm to hold together in the next 12 to 24 hours. But the biggest threat, the biggest risk, the catastrophic damage we're expecting is going to be along the coast water. and yeah absolutely you said it we can hide from the wind but you got to run from the water Janice wise words thank you very much we'll check back because we keep getting updates we'll come back when we need to with you thank you Janice absolutely I'm Steve Ducey I'm Brian Kilmeade and I'm Ainsley Earhart and click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis